Welcome to this video on using frames and widgets. My name's Andy Wicks. A frame lives within a window. Its sole purpose is to hold widgets. You can have several frames that live within a window and swap between them by using buttons or menu options if you want. Let's have a look and see what it is we're going to create. Here we have a graphical user interface and this graphical user interface isn't particularly nice or particularly clever. It has a couple of buttons and it's going to allow us to enter a new message into the message box. As you can see we've got GUI stands for graphical user interface in the label here at the moment but I'm going to get it to show a different message. I'm going to type in Thank you for your support and I'm going to get it to display that message. There the message has changed but this has three frames. It has the top frame that has the show hide buttons in it, it has the frame asking you for the new message and it has the frame thanking you for your support. So let's see what happens when we press one of the buttons. I've asked it to show or hide enter message. I could also show or hide the message bit itself. And as you can see, it swaps between them as I go. This is the application that we're trying to create. Let's create three frames. So we've got the button frame and we're adding that frame to the root. Then we're going to create an entry frame and add that to the root. And finally, we're going to create that message frame and add that to the root as well. When we create them, we tell Python who owns the frames. In this case, that's root. Each frame must have a name. So here the frames are called button frame, entry frame and message frame. And we use these names when we want to use them. Frames are just a special kind of widget. So they can be added anywhere a widget could be added. They're very flexible. Adding a widget to a frame, as we know, also follows the same two-step process. Create, then add. But this time the widget is added to the frame on which we want it to appear, rather than to root. The program demonstrated in the video recreates the label in the frame message frame instead of on the window. So we need this code. This code just sets up the fonts that we're going to use and the label that we want to display our output. In this case it's got the same text and fonts as we had before. And again having created our label we then have to pack it but this time we're packing it onto message frame rather than root. Once we've created all the widgets that we want we can then have to add the frames to the window and this is how we're going to do that. This adds the button frame, entry frame, and message frame to the root window. But you'll notice there's an extra option here, paddy equals 20 or paddy equals 10 in the case of message frame. What that does is it puts some space around the frame itself. So it adds 20 pixels in the Y direction, in the up and down direction to give a bit of space. So now everything is not on top of everything else. We've created a better looking interface. But now what we need to do is to see how we can swap between frames. And to do that, we need a couple of buttons. Here we're setting up two buttons, both of which are being added to the button frame. They have some text, show hide message and show hide enter message. They have a foreground and background color and they each have a command option. The command option is the one that actually runs a piece of code. We have a function called show message and that show message is activated anytime that button is pressed. We have a show entry function that is activated whenever the entry button is pressed. But I'm sure you'll want to see how those bits of code are written. How do we get it to swap from one frame to another? Well, all you have to do is pack a frame to show it and forget a frame to hide it. It's easy. 
And as you can see, one function packs one frame and forgets the other. The other function just swaps them around. There's nothing really particularly clever. We can just make it show or hide a frame at will. But the final step, now that's a little cleverer. What we want to do is to get the information out of the entry widget and put it into the message label. And for that, we need a little more code. This is the final function that we're going to be using. And all it does is create a variable called msg, short for message, and it goes to the entry underscore entry widget, which is that entry box into which the user could type something, and it gets whatever is in there. It takes that and then it goes to the label message and turns the text that was in there to the new message. And in that way, we can transfer information from one widget to another or into code if we want it that way. And so now you know everything you need to know to use the widgets.